Well, it might have been a little warm today in the state of Texas. A lot of wind and dust, but we're going to be looking at much colder temperatures in the state this weekend and early next week. In an impending winter storm, we'll have a couple rounds of snow in the state of Texas. We're going to have kind of a smaller event followed by potentially a much larger event. So let's go ahead and dive into it in this Friday evening edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Good evening, I'm meteorologist Jason Cooley, filling in for David Reimer Baldy in Chief with the Texas Weather Center. We're gonna go ahead and dive into the latest details. We've got new modeling that's come out this evening, which would be the North America model that we're gonna kind of pick apart a little more in the detail what the models are starting to agree on, being three days out from a highly advertised winter storm coming early next week. Let's go ahead and start with the temperatures. Now, the Panhandle, we're going to be cooling off real fast tomorrow, Saturday, with highs only in the 20s. Uh, but by Sunday, we're going to start seeing that colder air dig farther south into Texas. So start on the Panhandle tomorrow, but by Sunday, it'll clear I-20 by mid-morning and make it all the way down to I-10 by early afternoon, that cold 20-degree air. Now, this first push of the cold air coming in Saturday night into Sunday is going to build up a little bit of snow in the paint handle. Might pick up a few places getting a coating to an inch across the Texas paint handle sometime late afternoon in the evening hours Saturday into Sunday morning. That also go into Oklahoma. So the high resolution rapid refresh really only has about a fraction of an inch to maybe near an inch at most across parts of the pain handle Saturday into early Sunday. So not really an event, but we'll see quick little shot of snow. The GFS model also showing a signal for snow Saturday night. Again, still nothing major, real light stuff. But this model actually kind of brings it a little bit further south near Lubbock, maybe the northern Permian Basin. I'm not sure if it'll make it that far south, but you know, we'll see the GFS also, real quick, nothing major accumulation at all as far as that's concerned. But what happens on Monday, here's mid-afternoon, we're going to have a little bit of precipitation building along the Gulf Coast Monday morning, uh, early afternoon, by mid-afternoon into near dark dinner time hours, uh, suggesting here that we get some precipitation in the form of sleet and even snow on central Texas. Uh, it's a lighter signal. Not going to have major accumulations or anything with this, but signals there for some light snow. So places like San Antonio and Austin here starting just around dark and after on Monday uh, in the early Tuesday might see some snow. Also Bell County, parts of Hill Country over into the parts of the Brazos Valley. And we'll start getting to Houston Metro as well. Here's midnight. Things are mostly uh, along and south of Interstate 20. Uh, the heavier stuff really just kind of pointing toward East Texas here uh, early morning Tuesday. Some accumulation definitely possible here. We're not going to say just how much, but measurable accumulating snow seems to be very likely in the cards. East Texas, Piney Woods, parts of the Brazos Valley, well, northern portions of Houston and Golden Triangle. The model also has some precipitation, sleet and snow varieties. Further northwest, parts of the Edwards Plateau, Concha Valley, Hill Country, Central Texas. Again, a lighter signal might pick up a trace amount in spots, maybe an inch in spots back here further west. But the bullseye is really going to be kind of east of... 35, definitely 45 and eastward here. Uh, by noon, we're still going to have some precipitation in the form of snow. Parts of Houston, sleet and snow. Uh, any rain that falls Monday afternoon and early evening Monday is going to freeze because those colder temperatures are going to continue to move south. That's going to be a reinforcing Arctic air pushing in Tuesday morning. So there's going to be some freezing of prior rain and then snow on top of that. 3 p.m., we are getting things moving on out of the state. Uh, Louisiana is probably going to have a pretty big swath of snow and even sleet near the Gulf Coast. Could see some accumulations all the way over to New Orleans. But uh, this has Houston and the Golden Triangle 
uh, just getting near to the tail end of the event, midday, mid-afternoon on Tuesday, around 3 p.m. Then Wednesday's dry, we got low, uh, higher pressure settling in. Temperatures will get back above freezing Wednesday, uh, except for the pain handle. The pain handle might be kind of stuck near freezing for a while. Uh, but remaining fairly dry into Thursday at this point, uh, the questionable further event out later in the week, not really as strong of a signal on tonight's data. So I'm not sure if we're going to get much. And so by Monday, when it gets dark, 6 to 9 p.m., we start seeing scattered variety snow showers, not really a, a big widespread area of snow, a little bit heavier of a signal here. Eastern Texas and the Piney Woods, maybe a lighter signal back in Hill Country, Central Texas. Uh, this is going to be after dark Monday in the early morning Tuesday. And here's 6 a.m. Tuesday morning. So Houston, it's going to be really close to that snow sleet line there. Probably going to see a changeover to snow at some point, but it might be after an extended period of uh, rain, freezing rain, and sleet. So if the temperature gets colder, we'll see more snow, then we will sleep. If uh, we get warmer, then we might not see snow. But we're leaning toward seeing some snow in Houston Tuesday. And I do think, I think our bullseye for accumulations will be north and east of Houston, just north of the Golden Triangle. I, you know, we might get a little bit of snow in the Houston metropolitan area, especially if this overachieves. Doesn't look like a big, massive winter storm dumping a foot of snow anywhere. Uh, we're not going to see snow totals like we did in Texoma last week either, but some measurable snow in East Texas for sure. The European model here, that's a little bit different. Things are a little bit more compact to the south, and the rain snow line is actually further south as well, much further south than the GFS. This actually has snow pretty much enveloping the whole Gulf Coast from, say, Matagorda all the way to the Golden Triangle. So not really sold on this solution. Um, you know, I do think we'll get some measurable snow near and just northeast of Houston. I uh, wouldn't say that we'll get measurable snow all the way down to the Gulf Coast. I think this is a little bit too cold of a solution compared to what I'm seeing on the American suite now. You know, the social media pages are going to uh, love the Euro, saying snow on the beach. Not too sure of that necessarily. So we're not going to give definitive snowfall accumulation totals just yet. Uh, we're going to look at the NOAA's chance of one inch of snow probabilities. And uh, we're seeing some probabilities exceeding 50 and 60 percent just northeast of Houston there. Well, we're going to have that bullseye that I was mentioning, greatest probability there of over an inch of snowfall, a low probability of an inch of snow, 20 to 30% extending all the way west to Austin. Uh, we'll just barely include San Antonio. You can see a trace amount for sure. I'm not sure about one inch of snow in San Antonio. Victoria, 20, maybe close to 30% chance of one inch of snowfall accumulation. Um, same goes for Belt and Colleen and Waco. Let's go through temperatures real quick. We got highs tomorrow, only in the 20s in the Panhandle, but near 80, maybe even low 80s in the Rio Grande Valley. So in between, we're gonna see upper 40s in Texoma, D DFW, 50s, Brazos Valley, Permian Basin near 60, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, then 70s to near 80, south of that. Our Sunday morning lows are gonna be pretty cold in the Panhandle, single digits, low 20s in DFW, low 20s in the Permian Basin. Uh, most of Texas will be near or below the freezing mark. Monday morning, even colder, single digits in the Panhandle, near zero up in the northwestern part of the Panhandle. We're going to have low 20s in DFW. Teens will go all the way through the big country, parts of the Concha Valley, even hill country. We're going to be cold, uh, much colder than normal, but not extreme serious, super duper Texas deep freeze style cold. Uh, Rio Grande Valley won't even be freezing quite yet. Our six to 10 day temperature outlook, 
Still below normal, not as likely below normal as we've seen in prior maps. Uh, so maybe we're going to start shifting things back toward a more seasonable temperature soon. But uh, still below normal the, to end January, the 23rd to the 27th. And let's look at our precipitation, our, our mid to long range precipitation outlook. Above normal, East Texas. Below normal, West Texas, the Big Bend region. Um, kind of been stuck in this pattern where far West Texas is just drought stricken. You know, we got that dust storm today, just kind of goes to show how far behind they are in rainfall totals. There's our latest drought monitor showing just deep red, exceptional drought in parts of Big Bend, the Trans-Pecos. We have extreme drought, severe drought, parts of the hill country and Edwards Plateau as well that we desperately need rainfall. We'll get a little bit in the form of rain, sleet, and snow in the next several days. It won't be a lot, won't be a drought buster by any means, but I guess we just take what we can get. All right, so that's all I have for you this Friday evening. Main takeaway is that we are getting more and more confidence in a decent winter storm in the state of Texas. Uh, we're going to have measurable accumulating snow in East Texas and the Piney Woods, maybe affecting portions of San Antonio, Victoria, and Houston as well. We'll have sleet. We'll have a little bit of a freezing rain potential as well, but you're not going to really want to be on the roads Monday night into early Tuesday, or really anytime Tuesday if you can help it. Uh, certainly in and around the Houston area. We'll see if Galveston has impacts. We'll see if the Port Arthur area has impacts. Probably will have some impacts depending on how cold it gets. So we'll give you more updates tomorrow. I'll be filling in again tomorrow, Saturday, January 18th. Baldy and Chief will be celebrating his Christmas festivities once and for all after all the postponements from severe weather and winter weather over the last several weeks. Uh, so we'll try this again tomorrow. We'll see what the latest data says. And uh, sorry, I can't deliver as well as Balding Chief, but hopefully this was helpful to some of y'all. Well, bid y'all a good night. God bless. And we'll see you again tomorrow, folks.